Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be going over a fully ventilated wig versus a machine ventilated wig. <gasps> Stay tuned. And guys, we are back. So today it is which one is better? Is a Fulham, Fulham, fully custom made wig better than a machine made ventilated wig that you get off of Etsy or Amazon? Well, we're gonna dive into it right now. First things first, let's just say that they are both human hair. I want to just stress that right now. Yes, they are both human hair. They are both started at a 613, so that is the lightest color they can come in. And then I personally have colored them down. So I rooted them and I gave them a color as well. So let's dive into the custom one first. Because it is the cream of the crop when it comes to wigs, you can never go wrong but you're gonna be paying for it. So let me show you what the real thing is here. So most people don't do this, but on my channel I do. We are gonna go in and we are gonna show you the cap construction. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So here it is. This is the full inside, fully ventilated by hand, one hair at a time. The whole thing is done by hand. So that's the reason. It is lightweight. The foundation is made up fully out of lace. A lace, a true lace that will never stain, will never be dry rotted, none of it. It can stay forever if you take care of it. I know you don't know how to, but we are going to teach you how on my channel. So stay tuned for more stuff. So that's the fully ventilated one. Now let's turn our Amazon order wig inside out dun 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 here it is all right so as you can see it does have lace once again i just want to let you know that i personally think that these companies that are selling wigs like this are pulling the wool over your eyes yep you heard it from me first well probably not but full lace lace so my problem is here is that there is a stretch part first off. So great. If you don't have it custom made for you, you can buy this. And yes, the price is significantly cheaper. This someone actually has to make it for you and get measurements and everything. This one, you'll buy it as it is. And then you do what you need to do. And that is where we start doing the plucking, the pulling, the bleaching, the knots, the all of it. But as you can see, their lace has stained, right? I colored it, I rooted it, look, not lace. So it is a fabric. Mm, dun, dun, dun. So if this is what you're used to as a wig, that's fine. But now you know what a real one is. See, lace is not stained anywhere on the situation. Nowhere on the situation. But here, you can see spotty. Good old spots everywhere because it's a fabric foundation. So that is the difference between fully ventilated versus Amazon buy. And this one also does have back straps to make it smaller if you need to bring it in, bring it out. So these are great to use if you know how to use them. I do not like plucking. I do not like bleaching. I do not do any of that because that isn't worth it when you can have your own customly made wig, right? That's what we want. We want custom made for us. So the price difference, you're looking like at the most, depending on, you know, this is 22 inches. This would be around 200 to $300, depending on who you go to, you know, cause I'm sure if you've been buying wigs, you get people, you know, on Instagram hitting you up being like, hi, sir. Hi friend. Do you want some wigs? So <clears throat> with that, it's about $200, two to $300, depending on the length. So. And then a fully custom made one, like from scratch, can be anywhere between $1,500 to $20,000. Yes, you heard me right. It all depends on the hair quality, the texture, and everything. That's 
what you're getting with a custom made wig. You're knowing who the hair is from. So it's basically a one donor hair person. One donor to do a whole wig, correct? You heard it right. Whereas here, we don't know. This can be 5,000 different people's heads of hair. And they strip it, they bleach it, and they send it to us. And yeah, so there you go. That is my, which one do you want? So take into consideration your budgets, your timing, and how long you're gonna take care of your wigs. So if you want, please subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be going over so many different other types of wigs and everything there is to know about wigs on my channel. You can also check out danielcoyeducation.com if you are a wig maker yourself, so you can get the tips, tricks, and wig hacking capabilities. So thank you so much for listening for this long. And questions, comments, queries, put down below. Um, what wig do you like? Do you like the custom made? Or do you like the Amazon buy? Well, let me know. So I wanna to introduce to you my blueprint for wigs. For all the types of wigs that you can offer your clients. And this is what's going to be able to help you visually show your clients what you're willing to offer, what services you offer. So. First, we have this black line that goes all the way around. It's basically going to be their hairline. So we're gonna go off of their bubble, but before we do their bubble, this is what we're gonna show them. What do they want? So do they want a fully ventilated wig? So that means all of it, everything inside the black line is done by hand, one hair at a time, totally done for them, all right? And now I have the red line. So that is my full front. So from this line forward is gonna be my own lace that I'm gonna lay myself that you learn in this education series. And then the back is the ventilated wig or the machine made wig or the $20 synthetic wig, whatever it is. <clears throat> you just use the back and however way you use it, that's how you use it. Now let's talk about partings, okay? So what I do is I even have a shorter one. So I have my two finger, remember? I always talk about a two finger hairline. So that's about my two finger hairline all the way around. So that's my, my light blue line. Okay, so they can do full, and then you would keep that machine made back, machine, ventilate, whatever it is, all the way up to there. You'll lay your own hairline and call it a day. Now we're gonna do partings. So can you see this big horseshoe I have right here? So this is what I call a full top. So what I'll do is I'll do the front and the full top if they want to have um, a lot of flexibility for their wig. So they can part it anywhere from here to here, all right? So that is one price as well. So that's a full top and a front. Do you see how I'm breaking it down? And then as you're talking to your client, you're really gonna show them this and literally have it out. I, what do they want? Then as you're talking to them, they're gonna be like, oh, well, I normally just do a side part. Okay, great. <clears throat> what side, left or right? Which one is it, left or right? And then that's how much they get. And then so what you're doing, or a center part, so that's how I break down the wig construction for their foundation. So I can be using all of this, my dark blue line, if I'm doing a right side part from here to here, everything else can be the already pre-made wig. I will lay lace for the part, then I will lay lace for the front. So they're basically buying a front and a two finger part, right? You know, I love a good two finger parts, two finger parts, two finger hairlines, all right? So you need to make sure you stress to them what they're actually getting, okay? And I would actually have examples. You know, I have, a, I have an example of a fully ventilated wig here. I have a full a fronted wig, fully fronted wig here. I have a, mm, she's been, murdered that's why she's turned around but you can have all of these options ready and available for your client so they can actually see what they're getting so then if they do the full thing it's your full wig full ventilating price and you're looking you know anywhere between a thousand and up babe that's for a fully ventilated wig custom construction has to for me anyway. Um, you know, anywhere from $1,000 to $20,000, depending on the show, depending on the hair quality, all of these things combined that you're gonna take in consideration in your consultation, you know? So that is how you're going to 
see what they're used to. Are they used to just having a frontal? You know, where they go ear to ear. Now remember, most when they say frontals and they buy them from anywhere, from a beauty supply store, from a Chinese distributor, whatever it is, remember we're stretching that lace. Remember? I, they call it lace, I call it fabric. So they're stretching that fabric and then they're gluing it down and they're ruining their hairline. When we have the bubble completely made for them, they, it fits like a glove. It is made for their head. It is padded out specifically for their head. Okay, this one is not padded out. It is just so you can actually see what I'm talking about, where I'm cutting the wig, what and what prices. You know, full wig is gonna be a lot more than just doing a two finger hairline part, right? And if they don't even need the part, they just want it fully back, just the hairline. So yeah, so this is to help you visually see how you're gonna break down your wig and what your client wants. Be like, what do you want? Have them point, I want the front hairline just up to here and then I want a center part. Beautiful. Because then even there, if they're doing a center part, you know we're not really gonna see the sides. So the sides could technically be the wig's hairline, right? So there's different options. I want you to make sure you bunker it down and like say, sign, seal, deliver that part. So then you're going to prep your client's hair. Please stress this. I cannot stress it enough for you. I want you to stress to your clients how these wigs are not made just to go on any which way. You are making it fit them. The better the fit, the no glue they need. Say it again. Better fit, no glue. Save the edges. Save their hair. More comfortable. No pulling. Because you're making it fit. I, I mean, it's like a glove. It's like you're making a glove and each one is perfectly made just for you. So this is made just for them. You're literally going to be copying their hairline on their bubble. So then you're gonna prep their hair. You're gonna take photos of it. I want you to take photos, front, side, back, side, and top. You're gonna to put those photos into your Evernote. Now you're gonna put your bubble. So you're gonna take the plastic, you're gonna put it on, you're gonna wrap her head up you're going to copy her hairline, whatever her hairline is, all right? There's a whole video for that. I'm not gonna go into it right now. So I want you to copy it. And then what you're going to do, I normally do that, copy their hairline in black. And then for her specific or their specific wig, I draw it out on their head so they can see it. They're looking in the mirror and they're seeing where you're going to put the part and how it's gonna be. That's it, right? You're gonna take your measurements on your sheet. That's going into Evernote. Before you take it off their head, their bubble, photos, front, side, back, side, top. You're gonna put that into Evernote. This is documentation for yourself so you can reference it, but also it is really about holding them accountable of telling them this is how you have to prep your hair. Because when they come to you and they say, oh, it doesn't fit, well, how did you prep your hair? Put it on them, put it on them. If they're not coming to you to have it put on, put it on them, okay? So from there, you're going to have lace swatches, okay? You're gonna have every lace that you use. I'm, I, I use opera lace, I use HD lace, I use Swiss lace, whatever laces you use. So this means you need to know which ones you can work with, which ones you prefer to work with, and what foundation wigs you're going to be using. And show them, have swatches out, have them ready to go. What lace would you like? Now, what do they pick? They're gonna want the thinnest, the this, the that. So you're going to show them what that wig looks like. You're gonna take it, you're gonna take one out, you're gonna show them how delicate it is, how gentle it needs to be worn. And then in your contract, you're having, if it is not worn, as you were told, the contract is in void. If a hole happens because of your wear and tear, I'm sorry, that's your fault, all right? So you need to clearly state what you're doing because you, have them bring in a wig. I'm just throw, uh, 
bring in the wig they used to have because this is going to help us see how they handle the wig see what they're what they're used to to be honest because obviously they've been at their client their other um, hairstylist for a long time making these wigs so why what what's wrong with it so i want you to take that as well i want you to have it and look at it and just see and then ask the questions what's wrong with this why why did you not like it was there something wrong was it ill-fitted give let me know because i want to make sure i'm not doing a the same thing because normally from a, a glance i already know my product is better because of the skills i know that's normally how it goes normally someone will not leave a wig maker unless they want something better so you better make it better so i want you to know what to pick for the foundations how much they're willing to spend custom made you already know it's a big client you're going to need to pull up all the stops that bubble needs to be perfect but then if you're going to go into the wig hacking way taking a already pre-made wig and cutting it however which way you need to but make sure you show them have one of a parted one have one of just a fronted one have one of a, a full front have one of the two finger front have them in stock i know it sounds like a lot but after you're doing this for a while you're going to get wigs back you're going to be giving another wig out so you're going to have them have visuals for your clients like it's the best it's going to take out the guesswork and it's also going to show them what wear and tear is acceptable how to put it on so i want you to, to make sure you thoroughly go through that and have all those photos documented okay sure you document them also document as soon as they come in remember those photos that they just took of their hair make sure that's in there because then you have what their hair looks like what it is after you prepped it what it looks like in the bubble right so now you have all of that good um so you're going to take it off the head so you can use it for references you're going to create a bubble out of your bubble your template that you've made so there are a ton of questions but the real person that you need to, to, to know is you. What products you're putting out, what laces you're using, what skill sets you're bringing to the table to make a better product for them. Ha it's a block. I can use this block on anyone. I can style it. This is truthfully made just for you guys. Just for you. This is what I'm showing you visually. I'm a visual learner. I want you to see how you can change it, right? different parts, total top, and each one is a different number. So make sure you find out your numbers and how long it takes you to ventilate. To do a two finger part should take you anywhere between five to six hours if you're at a fast pace, okay? So schedule that into your ventilating time. And then your two finger front, how long does your fronts take? How long does your hairline take? Hairline should take a little bit longer. So a full front from ear to ear, a solid eight hours to do ear to ear, okay? So just put those numbers in your head. To do a full top like this, I would probably do this in a day. So probably like nine, 10 hours to do the top, the full top, meaning this full horseshoe. So you have different options there. Uh, so you need to make sure you're making notes about everything and write their name on the back, <laughs> write their name on the bubble. So many, well, a lot of times I always forget but I have photos so I can reference, but just write, write their name, write their name in a marker, bright marker that you can see, and then put a piece of tape over it. So after you make all your marks, do another coat of tape over everything so it seals it in. Because say, I mean, I bring alcohol all the time in my bag for sanitary purposes. So what if that leaks on top of my permanent markers? Ooh. There goes all your things. So make sure you have that down. You know, that's really what you want. So another thing, now that you have their bubble and they're all red, okay, you get the wig, they're sitting down, you're trying it on. I always schedule like another fitting. And I use that very loosely because normally it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on. The lace is going to be long because we lay a lot of lace. So before I cut the lace off, as it's on their head, I'm going to ventilate four or five, maybe 10 hairs, so they can see the technique of you doing it. 
that's gonna show them that you actually care. You're adding some more finer details because it is just for them. It's, you know, also it's on their head for the first time. You really wanna make it custom for them. And because it is custom for them, you can then do your little tweaks. And sometimes maybe you need to take it in a little bit in the back. So you have a fitting to make that happen, to give it to them. Great, they're happy, they're on their way. See you later. Now they call you. Oh, hey, I need another one. Well, guess what? Because she's a recurring client of yours, he or she is a recurring client, they, um, you can have their front, whatever they, they normally do, if it's just the part, if it's just the hairline and the part, you can lay them out already, right? You have stock, you have all of this. And truthfully, if you have a foundation hairline that you always do, you can just have it there and ready. Oh, I need a new front. This one's, you know, it's been four months. I need a new front. Great. You know, six to $1,200 right there, boom. And what you're doing is because you know she's gonna be coming back to you again and again and again, you can, she leaves the room, you lay a lace on that foundation, on that block. You lay it. You lay it down and you start ventilating slowly and surely, just, I don't know, out, do an hour here, an hour there, so that actually you have one done before she even calls you. And bam, you have it. You have her hairline, you have everything that they need, right? Everything. So that's another service that you can offer, especially for your long-term clients that keep coming back. You can have it there literally in, in, a, in a file, in a folder, in a folder, labeled her name, their name is on there, whatever it is, bam. Then, oh sure, just come over. Within half an hour, you can cut off that old front, lay your new front, sew it down, and give it back. Money please, right? Perfect service you can do. Especially, I know you guys have had clients and some of you are new. You want clients for the long haul. That's why you're going above and beyond. And that's why you're charging above and beyond. So that you can have the clients that know your worth, that know what you're bringing in. They just know that you're giving them the absolute best you can. And you can tell them that you're taking classes, you're getting further education, you do your monthly meetings with me. Like you can go above and beyond and give them that red carpet treatment. So now you have everything there is for the perfect consultation. I want you to really dive in and set up these systems so that they can help you work smarter, not harder and to be creating amazing hairlines that are going to keep your clients coming back to you again and again. It's going to be an amazing journey together because you're going to be taking them on the journey and bringing them to another level of wigs that they had no idea about. And it's going to make more money for you so you can work smarter, not harder.